Okay, this is uh, Montaña de Guasa in the south of Tenerife. It's a uh, trachytic lava dome. Uh, lava is very viscous, so it, it uh, has a very thick, short lava flow, almost 80 to uh, even 100 meters thick, that run all the way to the coast. So this is a, it's not very common in, in the Canary Island, but this is one of the thickest lava flow you, you can find here in, in the Canaries. It's a, it's a really nice kind of columnar jointed uh, massive thing. What is the white spot there, Juan Carlos? The white spot is shit, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's from birds. It's guano. Guano. Uh, guano so is the better word, a, I a think. more so. elegant way to say Yes, uh, okay. And um, we, uh, in the book, uh, in our Geology of the Canary Islands book, we have an aerial photograph. Uh, there's these nice kind of... Uh, O o o Jeeves, o the, uh, the uh, kind this, of uh, uh, arcs, pressure, pressure the pressure ridge. ridges yeah. that you can see. So the lava was very viscous and uh, it was kind of being pushed from the ongoing eruption. Yeah, it, it was forced to, to continue flowing because of the push in the crater. As soon as the eruption started, it immediately stopped. So it's a, a relatively wide but relatively short trachyte flow that is very thick and got pushed in in itself, in a way. This is what uh, in the volcanological terminology is called coulé, from a French, a French uh, terminology, coulé. So here's just the backside. This is where it continues. It goes a bit further into that direction here. I always thought it was pronounced coulé, but uh, yeah, I, no, my French, French is terrible. <laughs> Your French. French is probably better. Only better. Only better. <laughs> Okay, thank you for bringing us here, Montaña Guaza. Montaña Guaza. That's it, wonderful. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye.